Hey guys, it's Sinead, and I've been shopping a lot recently, so I wanted to make a haul video with all of the stuff that I've bought over the last maybe month or two. Um, it's my birthday, so some of the stuff is for my birthday, and then others just, I've just been buying stuff just because I like it. So yeah, in this video I also will be talking about where I shop too. I'll show you guys like my favorite like web stores. I don't shop anywhere that has fast fashion. I don't even shop at like ASOS or stuff like that. All of my clothes are either vintage, resale, thrifted, um, or from smaller independent designers or made by myself. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the things that I bought and uh, talk about where I shop. Uh, just because I know that there are some people out there who ask me, you know, where do I shop? Where do I buy clothes at? Because Honestly, me being from Ohio, I know it's hard to actually find places. You really gotta be looking for it. I mean, they're there, they're they're there for you to find, but it's just like you really gotta be tapped in with that market per se. So, because I want to share with you guys the options that you have, that's not Fashion Nova or Zara or you know other fast fashion places. I know they're cheap. You can get an outfit for seven dollars, I guess, but it's just like. I'm not even about to go into it, but you know, you know how they get down. If you know, you know, and if you know and you don't care, then fuck it. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that um, is on the rack is this little crop top. Um, it says shrooms on it. And I wore this on my birthday. So I'll probably insert some pictures of me on my birthday or I wore the day after my birthday when I was in Vegas. So I'll probably insert some pictures of me wearing it in Vegas, but this shirt is by a brand called Sixth Dimension. And I thought it was so cute. I found the brand on Depop, but I bought it off of their Instagram. They're like a resale store, but they also make their own clothes. And I just thought this shirt was so cute because if you know me, you know how we get down. Let me see how much I paid for it. Okay, so with tax and shipping and everything included, I paid $16 for this shirt. And it's an independent designer. Their Instagram is really cute. They show up. They're kind of lit too, but yeah, I really like it. It fit really good, but I did have to tie it in the back so it'll be like a little bit tighter just because this shirt is a one size fit all shirt. It's just square as fuck. So I had to just kind of. Um, get a rubber band or a hair tie and just put it together in the back. Yeah, pay $16 for the shirt and it's really cute. It's nice material in the brown. It's like really lovely, it looked really good. I like that they have like a little tag that you can see. If you can see their tag, I think their tag is really cute. I don't really know what more else I could say. I love the print that it is. It really um, gives me the feel, the vibe of shirts. I won't go into a whole shroom talk, but next item I have is, um, these are actually two different shirts, so I just got them on the same hanger, but, uh, cause I plan on wearing them together just because, I don't know, I just like that look. It's by, uh, the brand Dexter, really cool tag, really cool tag, really cool shirt, shirts. <laughs> Um, they're like a slinky material, I don't even know how to explain it. But yeah, really good stitching. Um, she sewed them herself, so. It's by the brand Dexter, um, a designer. Her name is Dexter, I believe. The tag actually says Dexter Williams, so I think that is her name. Unless you've been under a rock for the past year, I'm pretty sure you've seen your fave in this, I think like SZA, Lil Millie. So Raven, Raven Tracy, I know she was wearing it at a point. She's actually the first person I've seen wearing this. I think Coyle Ray was wearing this too, but it's really nice and it's really cute. Like it's different, it has like the holes in it. Mine that I bought is low key, a little bit too small. Um, my boobs are just a little much for this. Um, I think I got this in a size small, but I definitely should have probably got it in like a large or medium. Usually I can get away with small tops, like small stuff, but this child, mm -mm. 
Okay, yeah, so both of the um, tops were $35. So yeah, I got two, one in a sky blue color and then one in a charcoal black. And they're called uh, Lala Tanks. And I think she has like Lala pants to match it. Um, but yeah, they were $35 for both. So in total with shipping and tax and everything, it was $76.99 which I think are really reasonable for this, um, just because they're hand sewn, hand made with love, not gonna rip on you. It's made with care and it's different. Like it's original, it's an original design. She didn't copy this from another small designer and take their bag. Overall, I really like this. I can't wait to wear it. I don't really know if I'm gonna end up wearing it anytime soon, just because I am shy. <laughs> And stuff like this is just very loud. So I really like, um, you know, what the brand stands for. She's super creative and just different. Like her shoots are cool and different. And she has like bold makeup and wears bold hair and bold outfits. And I think that it's important because me as a clothing designer, I want people to embody a look when they're um, wearing my clothes. So I feel like that's what other designers go for, like Rick Owens, they want you to have that Rick Owens swag. Um, me, I want you to, I don't wanna say look like me, but I want you to have the swag that I'm trying to give you, like I'm giving you my swag basically. Which sounds weird to say, but that's what every designer does. That's what, that's what you're, that's what you're buying, literally. So like when you buy Helmut Lang or Rick Owens or those brands that have original silhouettes and like original things like that, that's what you're buying into. You're buying that swag. You're buying their swag that they created. Regardless of, you know, what you think, that's literally what's happening. So I feel like when I wear this, I want to do something bold. Like I want to be bold. I want to be different. I want to, you know, embody the look that these clothes were made to, you know, support. So I feel like that's really important for me and that's really why I choose to support the designers that I do. Um, just because I want to embody the look that they're trying to give me. So yeah, um, overall, I think this was a good purchase. So the next thing I got is <laughs> this. It's like a three piece top and y'all probably looking at this like, child, what the hell? Y'all probably don't see the vision. Cause trust me, it's a hard vision to see. I honestly had to look at how the picture was on the girl's website and Instagram to see how I should put it on. Just And I don't even know if it's right on the hanger, but it's like a arm sleeve. This, this yellow part is an arm sleeve and it's just a sleeve. And like this goes around your neck like that. This uh, blue part, it's also arm sleeves, like the other side of the sleeve, but this wraps around your body, I think. So like, it's like a top and a sleeve. So it's a little bit more than this. This red piece, is just like a top. It's just like a tank top. Like it's just a regular tank top, but it has a hole in the back or front, whichever way you want to do it. Um, I think that's actually the front. So I haven't actually worn this out yet just because I don't know, I'm saving it. Like when I bought this, I didn't really have the fit that I wanted to pull it off. So I think I do now. So I think I might be wearing it soon. Yeah, I really love it. I'm gonna search some pictures of the designer. Her name is Maye. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think she's a super talented designer. Um, everybody ran off with her swag. I mean like everybody. I bought a dress from her in I think 2018, 2018, everybody ran off with like that style. That's when like this style uh, became like popular, like the exposed seams and the seams that are like hanging off like that patchwork type situation. Um, a lot of fast fashion stole from her. And I follow her on Instagram and just seeing what she went through, like just from, you know, all those fast fashion brands stealing her designs really like fucked me up for her because it's just like she really cared and put the time in to make these designs and they just got stole just like that like just like it didn't even matter 
Um, I'm looking up how much I paid for it, but I'm not gonna lie, I remember it being very expensive. <laughs> so the top, um, and the girl, she's from the UK, London. So the top was um, 105 pounds, but converting that to US dollars, it was $145.91. That's how much I paid for it, $145. When I said it was expensive, I was thinking it was more than that, but that's actually not that bad. I actually thought it was like in the 200s. I don't know why I thought it was like in the 200s, but I don't know, I really like it. I think it was worth it. Um, I think the girl's super talented and I think that she, um, oh, so let me tell you. So she um, hired an intern. So the intern came and you know it's helping her so because she makes this all by hand as you can tell it's lovely she made this all by hand so she was hiring an intern and so i guess the intern she hired helped her out for you know a certain amount of time left helping her like just never came back whatever blocked her and started making like the exact same thing that she was making like the exact same type of designs like the exact same type of way like did her brand like almost the exact kind of way identical i don't even know who the girl is i can't even tell y'all if i knew but i just thought that was so fucked up you're getting your stuff stolen from these fast fashion companies and you're also getting your stuff stolen from you know somebody that you trusted to help you so i'm glad that i was able to support um her twice actually i think it was the dress that was in the 200 dollars the one that i bought in 2018 I think that was like 200 some dollars. This was, you know, I think it was 145. So the vibe that I get when I wanna wear this, I just wanna wear it with like some chill bottoms, like maybe some jeans and some cool shoes, maybe my race or my Mason Maharas. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, all in all a good purchase. So the next thing that I have, um, y'all actually seen this in a vlog that I did when I actually first bought it. It's by a girl that I found on Twitter and the brand name is Galstein Earth. And of course I want to start some pictures of people wearing it. And I just think this shirt is so fire. It has Arabic writing on the sides and on the front. And it's like a see-through shirt. She also had like a little bralette to match. I should have bought that, but I didn't. So it has, um, a raw hem which i think is fire so yeah let's see how much i paid for it so for this shirt with um shipping and tax included i paid 80 dollars i think 80 dollars is great for this shirt like it's great material it's not embroidered i think it's it's either dtg or screen print i actually have no idea but it's really nice I can't wait to wear it and it's funny because i was just scrolling on twitter i'm like scrolling and then I seen her say, this is my first time ever seeing her these shirts or anything. So I heard her say, you know, or heard her, or I saw, I saw her tweet, you know, my collection just dropped. So I was like, oh, this is really cute. I clicked on her website and I bought it like all within maybe like five minutes. <laughs> just from me seeing her tweet and um, going to her website and just looking at what she had. She had this in another color. She had the bralettes that matched the shirts and then she had some pants that um, went with the shirt too. Um, but I just got the shirt and that's why it's important to promote your brand because there's people like me who want to consume it. The brand has earth in the name so I just feel like the vibe that I get from this is just very earthy. <laughs> There's a word that I'm looking for, but I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try to embarrass myself. Ethereal. Oh, oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I might be saying that so totally wrong, but I just get like fairy vibes. <laughs> not a good way to explain it either, but I hope y'all get what I mean. Like very natural, like natural chilling vibes, but also sexy because it's mesh. But yeah, I think this was worth the money and again, I'm glad I was able to support. So this next item that I've got um, is this fire ass tank. I actually got it from Heroin, which is you're hip to Grailed. It's like the female version of Grailed. But yeah, it's like a rock and roll um, tank top. It has a raw hem, which I think is fire. 
if you notice anything that I've designed for GP General Republic that I designed, it's nine times out of ten gonna have a raw hem. Cause that's it that's just like fire stuck to me. Like you could just have a regular t shirt and it's a raw hem I'm like let me have it. You know honey, take my card. It says it's only rock and roll. It's probably not an original tour t shirt, clearly. I wore it actually on my birthday in Vegas and it was so fire. It definitely was a look. So I'm looking up to see how much I paid for it. I actually got it in a bundle. So I got it with this skirt that I want to show you guys when I get to it. The bundle bill total was $250. So he had the skirt listed at 180, so that's probably how much I paid for the skirt, 180, and then 70 for the shirt. And I think it has good resale value. I feel like I could resell this for $150 if I really wanted to. I feel like I could really get it off. But I have this thing where I'm gonna save all of my clothes. I don't really resell my clothes at all. But I have this thing where I'm keeping all my clothes for my, my daughter when I have one. Just because when I was growing up, I used to wear my mom's clothes so much. Like, I used to literally wear her shoes. I used to go in her closet, wear her shoes, wear her clothes. Hopefully, I'm praying that my daughter is like that. And she wants to wear my clothes because I would have some fire for her. In the future, it's probably going to be worth way more if I would even sell it right now. So, yeah, all in all, I feel like this was a great purchase. It's really good quality. It's like a thick, nice material. It honestly looks like somebody hand cut it. Like it was actual t-shirt and they hand cut it themselves. Like cut the bottom and cut the sides um, and cut the top. Like it was a t-shirt and they made it look like this, which I think is fire because it probably turned this shirt up like 10 times more. And it's a little uneven, so like, it definitely looks like somebody did this themselves, which I can appreciate and which makes me like it even more. I low key don't wanna stop talking about it because I just really like it that much. I'm trying to think of more stuff that I can say to tell y'all how much I like it. All right, so the next shirt that I'm gonna show you guys is this shirt. Um, it's just like a vintage tee and it's a band that I literally have no idea who they are. So if you're gonna come to me and say, oh, name three songs by this artist, you're gonna get slapped. <laughs> but it says Hanson. I'm not really too sure who that is, but their t-shirt is fire. Looks like it was bleached a little bit and I like that. Um, look though this shirt was actually a gift brandon bought it for me he was at a um, consignment shop in tampa but yeah i can't wait to wear it with like some loose jeans and some sneakers and so look it's a vibe and i'm gonna look up this band see what their music hitting for so i'm looking up the band hansen they're cute <laughs> That's interesting. Now I know a little facts about them when somebody comes up and asks. So the next thing is actually a set. This is the shirt from the set. And if you watch my vlogs, you've seen me wear this part of my birthday um, to my birthday dinner like at night. The pants have the same little cutouts on the side and they're like flared a little bit at the bottom. They're kind of short. When she was making them, I should have asked her to make them a little bit longer, but they were kind of falling down. Like, <laughs> like my butt crack was showing. Like they're a super low cut. Like this is all the space you got for your butt. Like if these were tailored perfect to me, like my height, waist and butt and all of that, chef's kiss. And I'm kind of embarrassed to say how much I paid for it because they're probably gonna be like, sis, you paid that much for that? Yes, yes, I did. So, let me tell you guys. So my birthday is August 31st. And um, on the website, it says, please allow two to three weeks for us to make, prepare, and ship your item. So after I bought it, I had emailed her and I asked, can you guys make it in like a week and a half and make sure I get it? before my birthday because I was leaving for Vegas the day before my birthday. So I needed it a day before my birthday at least. With the total of the item and shipping and tax, um, I paid $346 for that. 
when I had asked her to rush order it for me basically, she said she could do it for 20 more dollars. So me not bring, being a broke bitch, of course I paid that extra 20 dollars. The point of me just saying all of that was to tell y'all that I paid almost $400 for that set. And truly, was it worth it? No, almost $400, child. Anyways, so we're just gonna move on to the next thing, which is another set that I bought. I am dying over because I cannot wait to wear it. It's a swimsuit, but I might wear it just as a regular top with some shorts. It's by a girl I follow on Instagram. Her name is Olivia Shade, and it's called the LSD Swim. I really fuck with her, her as a person, and I fuck with her as a brand. And I definitely get the vibe that you know she is as a person with the clothes. Let me see how much I paid for it. The top and bottom were both 65 each. So with tax and shipping, I paid $138 for the set. I didn't use it, but the cool thing about her website is that she offers afterpay. And she just dropped this super cute dress that's cute too. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, but I want to. This is like two girls kissing, or maybe it's a girl and a boy, I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure it's two girls kissing. I'm just gonna say it's two girls kissing because that's what I want to happen in my mind. The bottom, it says, kiss me, my boyfriend isn't looking. I really like her aesthetic to her brand because it's like a selector character and then she has like a little, um, her card. Her card has a little avatar on it, which I think is dope as fuck. So shout out to her. So these pants, I'm so excited to talk about. These are some Ralph Lauren jeans that are too far they're a size 25 and they just have so many details i can't even begin to even tell you like all the stuff that they have but like first of all they feel really nice they feel really good so these are the bottom of the pants and they have these heavy ass buckles they have paint splatter on them it's a whole bunch of different color of paint splatter so there's some purple there's green there's some black there's some white it's just like from head to toe like a crazy pair of pants like as soon as i saw them i was like oh yeah i need to have them and at first i was like damn should i not buy them because they're pretty expensive i'm not gonna lie um the tag says 5.98 but I paid $3.50 for them. I got them um, from this girl on Depop, but I follow her on Instagram and she's so swaggy. Like she's swaggy as fuck. And she's a Virgo. I only bought them at the time because I seen them and I wanted them, but I didn't want them to get sold out. I was really scared. I'm like, dang, what if somebody buys them? I'm gonna be salty. So I bought them, but I'm totally not even ready to wear them yet. I want some like cowboy boots to go with them. I fuck with Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren is probably like one of the top 10 brands of all time. Like it's just a top, like a timeless brand. Like everybody loves Ralph Lauren. Like hood niggas, preppy people, bad bitches. Like everybody loves Ralph Lauren. So the next thing that I have is that skirt that I was talking about that I got in a bundle deal. So I think I said it was 180. It's giving like grunge but also bad bitch. I also have to get this skirt tailored because it was a little too big for me when I got it. Like splatter. Like the stitching is cool as fuck too. And it has like some cool distressing that only like time can really bring for real, but also their manufacturing um, is pretty on point too. Um, as a designer, I can really appreciate it. I wear it with like, a long sleeve shirt, I can wear it with a hoodie, um, a jacket, like a zip up jacket. I can wear it with a bikini top. Like I can just wear this in so many different ways. I bought it to wear, you know, with this together. I thought that would have been cute. What y'all think? You think that would have been ugly as fuck? I'm not gonna lie, it look cute was ugly when I put it on. <laughs> so I took it right off and I just wore them blue jean shorts that y'all, the Levi shorts with the distress which y'all saw me wear. I absolutely love it, just like I love everything else on this rack, so sorry if you hear me say that 50 times. The next thing that I have are these pants. 
It's there from, I think his name is Luca. And these are just like some printed um, jeans, but I just really like them because of the colors. Like pink is my favorite color. I like loud jeans. Like I like loud pants or like pants that are different. I'm gonna show you guys how much I paid for them. The pants were 90, but with tax and everything it, um, and shipping, it was $100 even. And I think $100 is, is decent for these jeans. Like I feel like they're worth $100, maybe even more. I think they're fire and they fit really nice. I was gonna get them tailored because they're men's jeans and they're a size 26, which I can kind of fit a 26, but it depends on what kind of jeans they are in men's. They're, sometimes they still are too big for me, um, but they actually do fit really nice. I didn't even have to get them tailored because they kind of just like fit perfect. They fit my waist perfect. They fit my thighs perfect. They were long enough. They're like a very straight leg and I really like that. And overall, I like them. Overall, they were a good purchase. And the last pair of pants that I have are these. And let me tell you, you ain't never seen nothing like these, okay? My swag different, secondly. <laughs> but um, the details on these are super crazy. They're like the distress and at the bottom they have like a flare type situation. Even like the small details in the back, there's like stitching that goes down through the pocket and it just looks dumb fire like i also had to get these tailored because they were a little too big around the waist when i got them but that's it like they fit everywhere else but the waist so i got the waist taken in a little bit and they fit perfect chef's kiss what size are these it doesn't say because everything is in a different language <laughs> so i paid 140 for these which is a really good deal for these. I think these are definitely worth 140. I probably would have even did 150 for them. You can't get these at Fashion Nova. You can't get these at Shein. You can't get these at Zara. Yeah, I think they're just super fire and they're just different. Like nobody has jeans like this. Like nobody's wearing this. But yeah, this was actually the last piece of uh, like clothing that I had, like top bottom. So the last thing that I actually have is this bag. And this bag is huge. It actually came in the mail this week, but like, what the fuck? This bag is big as hell. Like, I could probably fit in this for real. Like, this literally is like my whole body. It's obviously from you know, the Spider. And this is my first Spider purchase. And it was the only thing that I could get because everything else was sold out. It says, Never mind the spider, here's the slime. Um, let me see how much I paid for it. Okay, so I paid $75 for the bag, but with shipping and tax, it came to a total of $93.96. Yeah, so I really like this bag, and it clearly can fit a lot of shit in here. This is a mannequin. I have a mannequin, and I'm gonna put this mannequin in here. Let's see how it fits. Like, the mannequin fits in here, y'all. And it's still room lit. I think it's so cute. Yes. Like, look at this. The last couple things that I have are shoes. Starting with these shoes, my babies. These are the Mason Mahara Yashiro shoes. And I'm looking inside because they have writing inside that are like care instructions or wearing instructions. So yeah, these are what they look like. And I'm pretty sure you've seen a rapper wear these, I think like Lucky. I got the green colorway because everybody has the black and white or a bandana colorway, but I got the green. My Ricks used to be my go-to shoes, but I honestly think these are my new go-to shoes. Actually, Actually, no, I don't think any shoes can really take the place of Rick's, honestly. I don't know, it, it's gotta be a really practical but crazy shoe. And I got them in the size 38. That's what size I wear European. So I'm like an eight, eight and a half in women's. They're so comfortable and I just think they're fire because they just have that detail. I'm gonna show you how much these um, cost because they were not cheap. They were, $423. I know there's people who like, well, why would you buy shoes that are already dirty, like made dirty? But it's just like, that's the slag, you wouldn't get it. And then these are 
are the next pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys. These are this is actually the last item that I'm gonna show you guys. I already looked up the brand when I was buying them, and it says the brand is Unlimited November by Attitude. I don't know what brand they are. I don't know where they came from, but I bought them off of Heroin. So on Heroin, this is they're a Japanese designer and vintage. They're a size 39 European and they actually are a little bit too big, but I paid $57 for them. They look like Converse's, but they are platforms and they look so good. I'm gonna insert some pictures of me wearing them because I've been wearing the fuck out of these shoes since I got them. And then they have like this cross stitching across the top. I might change the laces eventually just cause I feel like they would be cute with like some thicker laces, but as of now they're 10 out of 10. And for real, that's all that I got. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, but I do want to talk about where I shop. So this second part of the video is going to be basically about where I shop. Right now, um, I'm gravitating towards this app called Heroin, which is like the female version of Grails. And that's really where I'm doing most of my shopping. That's honestly where I got most of this stuff. I really like heroin because you can negotiate prices. I think they tell people like you gotta have your shit presented a certain way. Other places like Poshmark and Depop, they don't give a fuck. Like you could post your shit on the floor when you go to sale and they'll still let you post it. Just a lot of stuff that you won't really see on um, Depop. I feel like heroin has more like a sophisticated vibe over Depop. I feel like Depop is more for like younger people and bad bitches and the kids in like UK. Like I feel like Depop would do a collab with like Megan Thee Stallion or Sweetie and like Heroin would do a collab with Khalees or Yoon Ambush. I just feel like it's just like different strokes for different folks but um, I do fuck with Depop on the other hand. My all time favorite store is no other than Essence. I feel like that's like the number one store that I'm all, I literally check that store every day. Cause it's just like, you can get so deep into them pages, like you'll miss stuff. I've probably spent over $3,000 on Essence. And child, that is a lot, Ooh. So yeah, I feel like that's like one of the best shopping stores. And I would love to do like a wish list video, like a wish list from um, all my favorite stores or like what I will buy if I had an endless budget. That's like my top three, heroin, Essence, and Depop. Another big source of where I get close from is Instagram. Um, social media for real, but mostly Instagram. That's really all I wanted to talk about. So I hope this video helps you guys figure out where to shop or just, you know, gives you some more insight into my mind. I really appreciate you guys who made it to this point. So thank you so much and subscribe if you haven't.